Now, I don't mind admitting that there's a special kind of fondness that comes to my heart when I'm thinking about growing some of these old-fashioned perennials. The likes of these dicentras, or the fringed bleeding hearts, as they're often known. And here's an exciting new variety that has reached us all the way from Japan. It's called candy hearts. And what's exciting about this variety is that in addition to having lots of pink flowers, these familiar bleeding heart flowers which put on such a good show in early summer, it also has this fabulous blue foliage, foliage that really makes such a nice feature that if it never flowered, it would still merit a place in the garden. But flower it does, and often this will start flowering depending upon where you live in April, puts on a main flush now in early summertime, and if it's grown in nice moisture retentive soil, let's dig in plenty of organic matter, make sure that it's got plenty of a cool, moist root run. It should never be wet, but kept on the moist side, and if you do that, it will keep on flowering during the summertime, and will actually flower through to September. So Dicentra candy hearts, a wonderful new perennial, for a shady or partially shaded site, one that will flower from April through to September, has these gorgeous pink flowers and fabulous blue foliage on it now too. Makes a mound of about 12 to 14 inches by the same round. And also, it's a fabulous cut flower. You can snip some of these, put them in an arrangement, They'll last very well in a vase of water. You could put it in a little bud vase or something like that and just enjoy it, whether it's going to be outside in the garden or brought inside into your home. Dicentra candy hearts, a wonderful new variety that we are very pleased to introduce to you. Garden splendor, the plants worth remembering.